Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Cow Radio, Faith Edition. Now, when we left off, I had decided to level up some Blazing Hand Inquisitors, and I have done a little bit of that. I have to admit, we do have quite a large garrison now, and as a result, we have been losing money quite considerably. However, I have done some very good investing. And I do believe that because of our prisoners that we had in Yoruma Castle's garrison there, we were able to accrue 10,000 dinars and a couple more pieces than that. And I was able to purchase a Weaverian Dye Works at Blazing Hand Temple. So that's giving us a little bit more money now. Because one of you did actually state that getting a Weaverian Dye Works is probably a better idea than investing at the Gnomish Bank. Well, the main reason why I invested at the Gnomish Bank was just to test it out and to have some fun with that and see how it worked, of course. And now that we do have a Weavery and Die Works, I suppose only one of them isn't exactly great, but it is going to help us out more nowadays because, of course, we do have more units. Now, as you can see over here, Veteran has 140 units in his army here. Now, as you see, I have done a little bit of remodeling here. And I don't have any Blazing Hand Inquisitors whatsoever. However, I have employed a few more Dwarven units this time, because one of you did mention that the Arquebus Dwarves are actually really good. So, yes, I've employed a couple of those fellows, and we're hopefully going to see their metal and how good they actually are. And then, of course, I did go for some of these as well. Hopefully we'll get some of them leveled up in due time. Now... Yes, my morale is now excellent, and that is, I think, due to the tips that you gave me in the comments, because what I did, I placed all of our units in the garrison at Yoruma Castle, and as a result, we were able to reduce our recent events penalties, shall I say, and then take them out, and we have excellent morale. So if we go over here to our morale here, as you can see, recent events plus 66, we will have... 99 morale for quite some time, I hope, and then we'll be able to obviously keep it up due to attacking some Rodox vassals, as you can see here. We have a vassal from the Rodox, and he has an Iron Golem, so this is going to be quite interesting. Now, the only problem I'm having so far is that he has two sharpshooters. Well, we know how powerful they can be. Now, I have upgraded some of our companions here, apart from Xanova, unfortunately. Oh yes, as well as Forentis. I have no idea why I didn't give them any armor, but apparently I just thought, ah, well, they're doing fine. <laughs> but no, yes, we were able to get, let's see, Alathira a helmet, Marnid some armor, we were able to get, let's see, Jeremus some armor, that's quite nice. Ymira already had some, as well as Frudak. Aiden obviously doesn't have anything. Ferorin doesn't have a helmet, so might need to get him one of those. And then Clethi. I actually concentrated on Clethi a lot, as we can see here if we go into equipment. I gave her a chipped military sickle, thick round shield. I also found a thick heavy round shield for us, because we were using a Nordic shield, which was pretty bad. And then also we found a thick male hawbok, and I bought this thick bar boot from Blazing Hand Temple. So, yes, I bought that for about 2,500, I think. So, yeah, we were swimming in money after selling our prisoners, I have to admit. So that was quite nice. She still has her throwing knives, because I do believe that she does quite a good job with those. And I think what we will do is, after we have attacked this vassal and sufficiently depleted our food supplies, I think we might do some raiding in a particular village, maybe over here or maybe over there somewhere, maybe try to draw out another vassal. That is, of course, if we are able to even do battle and succeed in attaining victory. Now, as you can see, Grandmaster Ternalia is asking for us to attend her feast, but yes, I don't believe we will be doing that at the moment. And instead, we are just going to be pursuing the sky into the mountains. And I'm unsure as to why he has not engaged us instead. Well, nevertheless, let's do this. Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. He has minus four with us already, so I don't believe any more is going to make too much difference. So, we have 140 against his 100. A very even bout. We both have even numbers in our armies here. So let's see what we can do. 
Let's make sure that we are going to be completely ready for his assault. No doubt he is going to want to attack us first, unless he is going to be smart about it and use his crossbowmen to the best of their effect. Because I do believe, if you are going to play Rodox, and if you're going to use their crossbowmen, I do believe it's a better idea to stay put and let your crossbowmen do the damage. Now, do bear in mind that considering we have a lot of Dwarven units, a lot of Blazing Hand units, that we don't really have too much in the way of ranged capabilities. So, in actual fact, I think we're probably going to have to attack him. If we stand here, we are just going to get pelted to death eventually. We do have Aiden here, but he's really not going to do too much damage with that spell, especially seeing as he missed, which is a little unfortunate, but... Yes, thankfully enough, our units are actually moving to modify their angle here, which is very, very good to see. Now, let's just send our infantry over there. We do want to make sure that they survive as much as possible, and, of course, our Arquebus Dwarves, we do need to protect them a little bit. So, let's tell our units just to charge in here. They're getting the height advantage against us, which is not good, but I do believe we will be okay as long as we can take out some of their crossbowmen. So let's do that, and oh my, my horse has already taken an absolute beating here. Not very good. Oh my goodness, whoa, okay. They are very good at taking out horses by the looks of things. Not just their spearmen, that's for sure. Their archers are also excellent at taking out horses. Come on, take him out. Yeah, there we go, we knocked him unconscious and everything, very nice. Come on, take him down, yeah. Very nice, and now what we want to do is we want to heal everyone. We want to bless everyone, and we want to heal everyone once again, because I seem to be taking more damage for whatever reason. Maybe getting shot by something. And I think I'll heal once again. I'm so paranoid about losing any of these units. I would love to be able to level up these Nord Warriors to Huskars, of course, and level up this Novice of Moradin, and, of course, leveling up our Blazing Hand Infantry. So, yes, I do believe this is going to be the foreseeable future for us, unless, well... Let's just say that I have 20 Inquisitors in the garrison at Yuruma Castle. We need 80 more. So if any of these guys... Oh my, we can take him prisoner as well. Let's do that. Yes, so if any of these guys right here, they are leveling up. As you can see here, three of them already leveled up into Inquisitors. I am going to place the Inquisitors at the very end of our army because I do not want them to be killed, of course. So let's try to get as many good units as we can. I have no idea about any of these units' tiers, by the way, so maybe I will just take the veteran-sounding ones here. Oh no, there's no sharpshooters as well. We could take a veteran mercenary mage. I think they're quite worth it. Rodox sergeants? Yeah, of course they're worth it. And let's get some veteran spearmen. I think we can actually take all of these, but I'm a little unsure whether I should, because if we come across someone that has a large amount of units, then we definitely want to take some of them prisoner instead. So there it is. That is pretty nice. Now, I'm not going to be taking any loot, and the reason for that is because we may indeed raid a village, because I did actually have to raid a village of the Vagias while we were off screen, just to make sure that we could actually have money for this episode. As you can see here, this is the money that I actually gained from that village. It was actually very poor indeed. I was only able to gain a very small amount actually, only about 3,800 from it, so yes, it was quite shocking to say the least, but I believe that that particular village was actually raided quite a lot, so, oh, five Inquisitors now, wow, excellent. So yes, we did get quite a small amount from them, but thankfully enough, Clefi has leveled up thanks to her new gear, or at least I hope so, and we'll level up her shield skill? I think shield skill is actually really good because it does give you that additional HP, as well as one of you actually mentioning in the comments that shield skill is really good. So, yeah, why not? We may as well go for it. She does have a shield now, after all, and Furuarin, unfortunately, does not have a helm yet, so we'll have to give him one soon. But for now, we are going to be leveling up his agility a little bit more, and we'll give him some in riding skill, because who knows, he might actually become a mounted unit at some point in the future. That sounds good. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's the Shavi? Well, maybe you're not thinking that, because we do have so many companions, and it's actually quite difficult to keep track of every one of them, but... Yes, Dashavi was irritating me so incredibly with her complaining that I decided just to let her go. 
and she's gone off somewhere. Who knows where? As well as Bunduk. She took Bunduk with her, so if we come across them again sometime in the near future, then we'll try to recruit them and we'll see if they are, well, a little bit more positive about our situation and our general state of affairs. So yeah, that would be pretty nice, but nevertheless, let's head on. Let's try to locate another Rodok vassal, or we could do some... Oh, yeah, I was going to say we could do some battles with those orcs over there, but I actually imagined that that was the orc army that I saw earlier. But no such luck, and Zagush has been looted! No! How dare you? Well, Zagush is... where is that? That's all the way over here, and that's our village. So we're not going to be getting any rents and taxes from that. So that makes me feel as though what I should do is try to find... Wait a second here, let's just take a look at recent messages. So, as we can see, it was looted by Count Galuksh. Is that how you say it? I have no clue, but let's go to characters. Where is Count Galuksh here? There he is, and he is the Lord of Ibdelez Castle. Is that all you have? Oh, that is a shame. That is a real shame. I was really wanting to raid one of your villages in revenge for Zagush, but yes, I suppose I will just have to settle for one of your comrades around here, perhaps. We do have some zombies that we could take out, but they don't have any prisoners, and I don't think it's worth it too much. But, yeah, maybe it would be if they had any prisoners, but yes, we will see, we will see, and I'm just hoping that we'll be able to... Aha! Hello! Okay, we have the ability, potentially, to be able to get another of these vassals taken prisoner. Let's try to chase him down here. Whoa, there's two of them! Let's get them in combat! No! I have a feeling that we've actually lost him. Yes, we have. He went into Colmar Castle. That is a real shame. We had two of their vassals in range. Oh. Hello. That is a big mistake, fellow. Actually, wait a second. I don't want to fight him in the night time, if possible. Ah, he's just going to escape, isn't it? I don't really want to fight in the night time, so I will be perfectly fine to let him go there. I don't think it's really too worth it. He didn't have any prisoners after all. If he did, then I probably would have just gone for it, but yes, fighting at night time, really not the greatest thing. As we do not have great visibility then. Aha, we have someone else. Ooh, he has a Corsair captain. I don't believe we've ever seen one of those before, so let's hope that we're faster than him. We are moving at 4.3. He's moving at 4.9. I will never catch up to this guy. Or will I? Nope. Especially not when it's dark. Great. Okay, well, maybe what we could do is try to intercept some of them going to the nearby town. Oh, ouch. As you can see here, thanks to our newly acquired party, we are losing a huge amount. And thanks to the rents from Zagush, we are not able to sustain this amount of units. So we are going to have to raid something soon. We just have to expend more of our foodstuffs, I think. That would probably help us out quite a bit. Let's just take a look at how many units they have at Yalen here. 349? You know, I'm actually quite tempted. I am actually quite tempted to head in here and take them out, but... Oh, wait a minute. Hello! 91 units. You're moving at 4.3 speed. We're moving at 4.3 as well, so maybe we'll be able to catch up. Oh, yes. I think we are catching him. We are catching him, and there we go, and it is just turn night time, so that's really unfortunate, but we're just going to go in, nevertheless, he has 91, I do believe it is worth it to get some more experience for our Blazing Hand units. So let's just see what we can do. We do not want to hold position, but I would like to just see what they're going to do. If they're going to just stand there and fire off their bolts, then of course we are going to charge, but for now, I'd just like to chill out a little bit here, and we'll see. I'm going to bless everyone in the area as much as I can, of course. And let's use our spiritual hammer there. There we go. Thank you very much. So, let's charge in. Let's charge everyone in. We don't need to charge our musket men, of course, so I'm going to be leaving them at the back here. And, ooh, they have quite a few mages. Oh my goodness. This is not a good idea. That was not a good idea. That was very dangerous indeed. Should not have done that. 
That was terrible. Okay, let's just try to interrupt many of their units with our horse here. Unfortunately, our horse is now crippled. And we are off it, so this is terrible. Okay, come on. Take these guys out. They are only crossbowmen. Oh, no. Okay, let's heal. There we go. We healed. Excellent. Oh, no. Oh, ouch. That was a terrible idea, as I stated beforehand. Terrible idea of me to just charge straight on in there. I was just so super confident because Veteran did such a good job in the previous encounter. But... Yes, what can you do, I suppose? We have not really lost anyone at all. We lost one unit, and I will be very interested to see what unit that was. Let's hope it's not a Blazing Hand unit. Oh, it was. Oh dear, we lost an infantry. Well, that's not too bad. I'm pretty sure that three of them will level up as a result of his efforts. Now, I am going to be, as I stated previously, releasing some of these guys to get these sharpshooters. They are definitely going to be worth selling. And we'll get some Rodok Priest as well if we can. So let's see. Let's get rid of... Ooh. I don't know here. Swashbucklers? Are they any good? I don't know. Drow Fighters? I think we can release one of those. And we can probably... Hmm. We can probably lose another two of those perhaps. And let's get the Priests. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So anything else here? Do I really need? No. We can probably raid a village now and probably get quite a significant amount of material gains. So let's just level up Endel here. I am probably going to level up his strength until 18 and then we'll start leveling up his agility, I think. That's probably going to help him out. There we are. Thank you. And yes, we have some novices leveled up as well as some Nord Warriors. Champions. Six more Inquisitors. So now we have 31 Inquisitors. Very nice. We are making our way there. And let's see... Veteran has also now leveled up, which is excellent. So what are we going to do with him? Well, he is super slow, so I'm thinking, should I improve his agility a little bit? That might help him. That might very well help him, that is for sure. Maybe we should go for some more prisoner management, considering we are taking quite a few prisoners here. And what else? Trainer skill? Trainer skill would be really quite useful, I think, as well. But we have enough of that, I do believe, at the moment, so I don't know whether we really require it. But for now, I'll level up his shield a little bit. Let's get some more agility, and then we'll go for some two-handed, just in case. And there we have it. Okay, so where do we want to head to? I think we'll probably go to Ilvia here, and we'll try to raid that village. Oh, the Rodox and the Drow have made peace with each other. So it appears that the Rodox are probably going to be concentrating on the Blazing Hand a little bit more, which is not something I am too pleased to see, but what can you do? And we are now going to loot and burn this village. This is what they deserve for looting Zagush. And they might actually decide to engage upon us as well. And now the Drow have declared war against the Nords. Well, <laughs> they're definitely very busy. And there we have it. Oh my. Okay, so this is exceptional. This is much more than... Oh, wait. It might not be exceptional. Oh, this might be similar to what we had previously with the other Vegio village that I looted off screen. Oh, my. Well, let's see. Let's see how much we get. That will be for science, I suppose. We could head down to Wizard Tower and we'll see how much we get from selling all of this loot. Oh my goodness. Now, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about, to be honest, is the fact that we have such a low honor rating. And, of course, the reason for that is because we are, of course, raiding a lot of villages at the moment. And that's definitely not something we want to continue to do. And, oh my goodness, my savings at the Nomish Bank are now 14,771. Not bad. Not bad, I have to admit. Alathira has now advanced in level. Yes. What's new? What's new? All of our companions leveling up, of course. And we are almost there. Thank you very much. And, oh, Aiden, yes, doesn't have any backstory just yet, but I'm sure he will. So, let's head on over. We're going to be selling one holy symbol, because that is what we got from the village. And then we'll sell this fey wine, the spice, various salts, tools. Ah, we're getting quite a lot more, I think. Yes, there we go. We have already gained some profit. Wow, quite a lot, actually. Goodness me. And there we go, 5,400. That is exactly how I was keeping myself afloat. A little. 
off screen. Okay, so let's see. Let's try to get a lot of this. That will help our morale out as well, if we are having any issues. And, oh, you can't afford that. Are you serious? I cannot believe that. Hmm. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, well, we'll take these away. And... Oh my, I don't actually have that much space. Okay, just take that. Fine. Oh, I wish they had more money. Oh my goodness, they don't actually have that much money. Oh. Okay. Well, we can sell this. Oh my goodness. Okay, we can basically just sell that and then... Goodness me, really? Wow, okay. And that is it. Okay, that is fine. That is great. There we are. We have some very nice money now to be able to pay our troops for next week. Yes. And we have a mountain halberdier here. Don't really know whether I should recruit that fellow. Probably not, because we are obviously already paying a huge amount. And should I enter the Mages Guild? I don't entirely know, but I think we shall, just to take a look here. And we actually have all of our companions in here. What's going on? Okay, hello. We have some silver golems here, guarding the door, of course. And we can speak to Master Nathbamas, and we will see what he has to say. Greetings, Master Mage. I have come here seeking your services. What do you need? I would like to buy a spell book. I would like to see which spell scrolls are available for purchase. Look at how many spells they have. Whoa, a chaos spell. That is impressive. The chaos spell is said to have been designed by a mad wizard who peeked into the core of the ever-changing plane of Limbo. The enchantment brings mind unbalance to all affected creatures, and causes them to act very erratically. This potentially disrupts all manner of organization on the battlefield, and makes them much easier to deal with. It costs 6,000! <laughs> oh, wow. But there we go, that's a little bit of a small look at the... Mage's Guild. Oh yeah, so very nice. Okay, so I think, considering we have done some pretty nice work here, we have leveled up 11 Blazing Hand Inquisitors. I will continue to fight a couple of Rodok vassals, maybe a little bit off-screen as well, and then we might get another 11 and we'll have about 42, I think, then. We'll have 42 Inquisitors in the garrison at Yuruma Castle. And from there, I will probably see whether anyone else declares war. We'll probably do, maybe in the next episode, we'll probably do a little bit more raiding, maybe take on another Rodok vassal, and potentially, well, I wouldn't like to say, but potentially siege something. But I don't know whether that's really worth it, because then we would be making the Blazing Hand territory ever larger. And if we are going to revolt against them, which is probable in the near future, then they're going to have places to hide, and I don't know whether we would really desire that result. So, without further ado, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.